how are you doing today i am going to be talking about how to break this family stereotype don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and share this video and your contribution is also continuously needed number one way to break this family stereotype is by self-awareness and reflection parents need to sit down and reevaluate themselves to understand where their issues is stemming from taking the time to work on themselves to understand that this is not supposed to be something that they will channel the energy or the hatred to the child they will come to reflect on the circumstances and heal with this it will help them to develop a better way to love their children and cope with themselves adults that are already grown that experienced this they need to also self-reflect and recognize the consequences make amends and try to show little love instead of continuing in that way so that the next generation following will be better another way is educating yourself you need to understand the impact of stereotypes by observing being audible about it don't keep don't be sh don't shy away from communicating talk about it voice out your mistakes and that you want to make a change and that you need help to be able to do better read up books on how to show love on how to care on how to do things better watch youtube videos educational contents that can help you to become a better person and the next one is um equitable treatment and instead of choosing favoritism choose equitable treatment across all kids if you tell yourself that you are going to love your children equally without giving preferential treatment as you say it and believe it you will be able to do it once you start doing it you will find it much more easier to replicate and children that experience equitable treatment will always give out equitable treatment avoid comparing your children because all of your children are not the same each child is unique and have their different abilities each of their uniqueness is what makes your family stronger even if that child is slow there is somewhere that that child has strength that you can utilize and help them in their slowness to get a better pace even if a child is dumb and the other one is intelligent, it doesn't matter. A dumb child may be good at business, may be good at modeling, may be good at communicating, may be good at creative art. There is a talent for every child. And the reason why you have all of them is because each of their talents will come together to make your family a stronger whole. But when you separate them, you will lose, the children will lose, the family will crumble. So be wise. The next one is open communication. Be open with your communication. Don't be keeping secrets with your children. Don't be lying on your children. You communicate this to your this one. You go and communicate another, knocking their hands heads together. You don't have to do divide and rule in your family just to, to make them never come together. Why are you afraid of that? Did you do something wrong? Did you do something bad? It's only a bad parent that will be scared of the children working together so that they will revolt on him or her. So every parent would like to build a strong communication among the siblings so that they will learn how to help each other, how to support each other in their weaknesses. Everyone will use their strength to help the weakness of the other and vice versa. So if you are able to achieve this, Trust me, you will be the happiest parent on earth. Discuss stereotype to them. Let them know that it is not good. It is not something that will be or will ever be promoted in your home. Make it a point clear discussion for them to understand that there is no room for stereotype. There is no room for favoritism. There is nobody that is black sheep. Everybody is welcomed in the family amongst your children celebrate them celebrate their individual strength celebrate their individual powers recognize them if they do something right praise them give them 
that opportunity to own their strength, to own their good quality, to own their uniqueness. That way, you have empowered them to go out there and face any challenge, bring back beacon of light back to your home. At the end of the day, you will make yourself a proud parent. You won't regret it. Look at families that have done this, where they are today, because this stereotype is simply witchcraft, bringing hatred, disunity, dysfunctional. It is witchcraft. You don't want to be that. Bring your family together, celebrate their uniqueness, observe their uniqueness and make them to know their uniqueness so that they can use it to thrive in life. Support them. As a parent, you've gone through life. You've experienced things. Use the lessons you learned in your life to coach them, support them. When they make mistakes, do not cast them away. Sit them down, have discussion, tell them where they've gone wrong and teach them how they will do it better. Try to know what they are doing so you can support them. If you cannot render that support, bring a therapist for them bring a coach bring someone that will help them you might not be expert in everything they want to do you might not know everything they are doing they might actually be smarter than you they can teach you be open to learn from them and teach them what you know do not be afraid to talk to a professional to help you where you cannot let's say for example it is time for you to teach them sex education and you don't know how to do it because your parents didn't give it to you bring a professional that you trust sit down with the professional let the professional talk your friend can do it, but sit down with them tell them what you want to do and, and let them help you do it and all of you sit down together let it be like a family discussion you sit down in the circle have open conversation don't make them to be scared of you or to be hiding when they see you. In so doing, you will be a role model to them. Because when you do things the right way, children love to emulate. They are proud when their parents do things well. You will be their role model. So be their role model. Don't make them hide when they see you. Don't make them feel rejected when they see you. Be a role model, somebody that they can talk proudly about, somebody they can boast about, somebody that can say, I want my wife to be like my mother. I have seen that happen. I have seen women that say, I want to marry a man that is like my father because you have become their role model. So nurture them in a way they will be very proud to make you their representative outside and not something to shy away from. The next one is whatever you are doing with them, remember that you are their parent for life, for, for life. So be consistent. Do not feel tired of repeating things. Do not say, oh, they will learn it from outside. They may learn it the wrong way. So be comfortable in consistently, tirelessly saying things over and over again, schooling them, advising them get angry give them a little spank when you have to and still bring them back and let them know why you spank them do not just push them away kids are annoying but they are lovely if you take care with every of your child even the most stubborn one they have weak point observe the weak point observe also their strength as you are getting their weak point all this will help you to make your work easier as a parent at the end, trust me, you will enjoy parenting. But some parents don't care about observing this. They don't even want to know. They don't even want to listen. What they see is what they see. What they think they know is what they think they know. They don't even understand that you have grown. They don't even want to see you either. They still think you're a baby. So all these things is what you need to work on to be able to eliminate family stereotypes. Make sure you don't welcome family stereotype in your house. Bind it, cast it, send it away to the abyss. You don't need it at all, at all, at all. Whether the child is yours, whether it's a, a adopted child, whether it is from first parents, second parents, or it doesn't matter. Anybody that comes inside your home, treat them with love, with equalness, and with care. 
do not differentiate in conclusion i would say there are very distinct and specific ways many ways people can break family stereotype if you really want to break family stereotype you can cultivate an attitude of having family meeting with your children right from the time they were young which will create a sense of expression within them and comfort you know of them being around you if you start from little to give them sense of purpose you will reap the fruit of all of them it doesn't matter their status in life try to remove wealth status physical gain material gain from love learn to love holy love can bring a lot of blessing into the family more than you ever think or can imagine try to do activities together as family even if it's just going to the park together as family even if it's just going to the eatery and just drink drink water there it's something even if it's just you know taking a walk on the street as family together it is something or can, you can play game in the house as family and laugh together all those things create bonding that will help you to understand your children more learn how to love them more and learn how to accept them the way they are it can be movie night popcorn night there are little little things that actually bonds family together that you can do but whatever little you can do please do to remove family stereotype from your family to avoid creating unnecessary trauma stereotype for your children that will at the end of the day land them into incurable sicknesses and you wouldn't want to bury your child before yourself will you you wouldn't want to hear that your child unalive themselves will you please do better too much favoritism is actually destroying the child so don't encourage that do things in a equitable way so this is it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it and i'll be so happy to get your contribution see you in the next review one love you know i love you bye 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 next one is gonna be um reviews hopefully <laughs> see you one love